Okay, hello my future RN friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Once again, this is Beth from Reality Life Series and for those who know me, I have been making videos for your ATITs review and I specifically make science study review. So in this series, we're going to go over the nervous system. I have created this cool PowerPoint representing the DNA of the nervous system. It's kind of funny, but um, I don't know. I just th thought of something cool to present my PowerPoint. So DNA is also known as definition and functions of the nervous system based on anatomy and physiology. Okay, so we're going to go over the CNS and the PNS and sensory neuron and we have the interneuron, the sympathetic division, neurotransmitters, cerebral cortex, the brain, spinal cord, autonomic nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, and the central nervous system. Although there's a lot more covered to this um, PowerPoint, but this is the only thing that I, I put in the first slideshow okay and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated on my future ATIT's review series okay now let's go ahead and start with our um, terms and definitions and functions Okay, number one, the participation of the sensory neuron, interneuron, and motor neuron are needed in spinal reflex. Again, the participation of the sensory neuron, interneuron, and motor neuron are needed in spinal reflex. Okay, number two, the autonomic nervous system and sympathetic division cause the heart rate to speed up digestive processes to slow down and blood pressure to rise. Again, the autonomic nervous system and sympathetic division cause the heart rate to speed up and the digestive processes to slow down and blood pressure to rise. Okay, so it has a di different effect in every organ. Okay, number three. The most common infections in the nervous system are the bacterial meningitis and viral meningitis, in which bacterial meningitis is more severe than the latter, or than the viral meningitis. Okay, the most common infections in the nervous system are bacterial meningitis and viral meningitis, in which bacterial is more severe than the latter. Okay, number four, the levels of neurotransmitters is modified by the psychoactive drugs. Okay, the levels of neurotransmitters is modified by the psychoactive drugs. Okay, by the way, so in this series, we're just going to go over some terms. And if you are a member to my channel, you can access to the practice test that I'm going to make also. So only the members to my channel can um, access to the practice test. Okay? But however, this is, you know, a good review for everyone as well. So you can just, you know, think of the... Um, think of the terms that I have created there. And then maybe... One of these terms will come out in your ATITs. Who knows, okay? Because there's a lot of terms. There's a lot of types of tests in um, the tests. So you are not really sure what to expect. Okay, number five, the cerebral cortex formation of new synapses and permanent changes in neurons have something to do with the storage of long-term memory. Number five, the cerebral cortex, formation of new synapses, and permanent changes in neurons have something to do with the storage of long-term memory. Okay, number six, the part of the brain that is responsible for regulating the heart and respiratory rates and as well as blood pressure is the function of medulla oblongata. Again, the part of the brain that is responsible for regulating the heart and respiratory rates and as well as blood pressure is the function of medulla oblongata. 
Number seven, the central nervous system is composed of the brain and spinal cord. So CNS is composed of the brain and spinal cord. I may have to go over this term again in the future um, statements, but you know, just so you know, this is one of the most important terms in this review. Okay, C CNS is the brain and spinal cord. Okay, number eight, when an information is transmitted into the CNS, it reaches through the sensory neurons, whereas information originated from the CNS targeting the muscles, organs, and glands moves through motor neurons. So take note, they have different functions from sensory and motor. Okay, one more time. When an information is transmitted into the CNS, it reaches through the sensory neurons, whereas or however information originated from the CNS targeting the muscles, organs, and glands moves through motor neurons. Okay, and if you have any questions, I would be um, glad to answer them and just leave comments down below. Okay, number nine. The excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters can result in depolarization and hyperpolarization of the postsynaptic membrane. Again, the excitatory uh, I can't read this one. The excitatory, excitatory and inhibitory neurotransmitters can result in depolarization and hyperpolarization of the postsynaptic membrane. Okay, next, number 10, the central nervous system is the processing center of the human body and composed of the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, like I said in the previous slide, um, but this one is more, um, it's like more uh, era elaboration, okay? So I just explained further. Both are protected by three layers of membranes known as meninges. So the brain and spinal cord are protected by membranes membranes sorry membranes known as meninges. Okay. Next number eleven, the pons and the medulla along with the midbrain are often called the brainstem. Okay, pons and the medulla are known as brainstem. The brainstem takes in sends out and coordinates the brain's messages. It also controls many of the body's autonomic functions like breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, swallowing, digestion, and blinking. So these things like breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, swallowing, digestion, and blinking are associated with the brain stem. So right now I just swallowed and I guess it's, you know, it's my brain stem that is coordinating with what I was doing. Okay, number 12, somatic nervous system is the subdivision of the PNS or the peripheral nervous system that controls voluntary activities such as the activation of skeletal muscles. So, somatic, skeletal. Okay, they both start with letter S. Somatic, somatic nervous system is the subdivision of the PNS that controls voluntary activities such as the activation of skeletal muscles. So if you're taking the test and there's a question about how is a somatic nervous system associated with uh, the voluntary activities and then if you can see one of the choices would be the skeletal muscles then definitely go ahead and make that or choose that as your answer okay number 13 peripheral nervous system or the PNS is a nervous system subdivision that is composed of the cranial nerves and spinal nerves okay so cranial and spinal are um, I belong to peripheral nervous system then number 14 autonomic nervous system is a subdivision of the PNS that regulates the activity of the cardiac muscle smooth muscle and glands it is also called the involuntary nervous system because it controls body activities automatically it is very important in maintaining homeostasis for the body so think of it as 
like auto automatic autonomic or automatic like cardiac muscle heart muscles you cannot control them or the glands you know they are autonomic they functions involuntarily okay you can't stop them okay then number 15 swan cells are specialized cells that myelinate the fibers of neurons found in the pns okay again swan swan cells are specialized cells that myelinate the fibers of neurons found in the pns okay number 16 meningitis is the inflammation of the meninges posing a serious threat if the bacteria or virus spreads to the cns okay that's why there is bacterial meningitis or viral meningitis okay number 17 cerebellum is a large cauliflower like structure that projects dorsally from under the cere cerebrum it provides precise timing for skeletal muscle activity and controls balance and equilibrium so take note that cerebellum is associated with your balance and equilibrium Okay, number 18, brainstem. The brainstem provides a pathway for ascending and descending tracks and contain the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. Okay, again, the brainstem provides a pathway for ascending and descending tracks and contains the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. I think I talked about it already in the previous slide, but yeah. I, um, this is one of the important things that you need to know. And then number 19, fight or flight. Fight or flight is a phrase given to instinctive response to danger where, where our heart rate, blood pressure, blood glucose levels, and oxygen intake from lungs increase to give one more energy for a response. Okay, it is controlled by the sympathetic division. So, our sympathetic division controls the fight or flight re response. Number 20, parasympathetic division is the part of the autonomic nervous system that allows us to unwind and conserve energy. And it is also referred to as the resting and digesting system. Okay, so the parasympathetic division is also known for the resting and digesting system okay i think that's it for now and yeah if you would like to be a member to my channel you can go ahead and click the join button it is located below the video like right below the video it says join okay and that's it thank you